guys, welcome to Up Close. I'm Anna, and today we have Christy Watts with us. Yay. Thanks for being here. Of course. We're of excited course. to get to know you better. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're probably best known for being a co-host on the 700 Club. Mm -hmm. 14 years. Wow. Yeah, right. but yeah. you started off in local news and then you made the switch into Christian television. Mm -hmm. Did you always have that calling on your life to go into Christian television and what attracted you to it? No, I didn't have the call initially and I did not want to. Okay. Um, in fact, I had an argument with Jesus. I said, now, Lord, Christian television is for people who are more, you know, conservative and more calm and more kumbaya. And I'm like this funky black chick from New Jersey who just says whatever comes out of her mouth. And I'm like, I don't think it could handle me. And Jesus is like, it can. And that's where I want you to go. So I did. I started out in news, um, but I ultimately wanted to have a show like Oprah, to be honest with mm. you, because when she came out, it was 1988 and I was sitting in my sister's dorm room and it was the first day she, be, she was national. She was hosting a, um, a local show in Chicago. And mm -hmm. I remember seeing this woman on TV saying, <gasps> Oh my goodness, I want her job. Right. And so I always kind of wanted to do more of the talk show type of television, but the only avenue at the time was through news. Mm -hmm. But I hated it because the stories were so sad. And my heart is just naturally, and my disposition is naturally one that gravitates toward anything about joy and hope and happiness. Mm -hmm. And so I would leave every night crying, or my heart just hurt because I'm, I just, it was. <laughs> bad. It was news. Right, right. So here's something that people don't know. Here's a cool story. You ready? Yes. All right. So I went to grad school. Um, I did a study on children's television and I thought, well, maybe I'll be a kid's uh, club host. I'll be a um, children's television wow. host person. Yeah. So I went to Nickelodeon and I was a third finalist to host a show. And at the time it was called Figure It Out. And I didn't get it. <laughs> Summer Sanders got it, who yeah. won the Olympics. <laughs> no judgment. Anyway, so I remember going back home to Dayton, Ohio, where I lived at the time, and I was sitting in my car, and I was praying. I said, Lord, what do you want me to do? Lord, what do you want me to, you want me to do? And he mm -hmm. said, Christian television. And I said, mm. other than that, Hi. Lord, what do you want me to do? Yeah. And um, because, once again, I just didn't, I, even though I grew up as a Christian, got saved when I was five, mm -hmm. grew up in a Christian home, I just didn't feel like that fit me. Sure. But, you know, when God calls you, he calls, he calls you. you yeah. And so a year later, I worked at a small Christian station. And a year later, I worked at the 700 Club. Wow. Yeah. You, you have such an extensive resume. You've mm -hmm. interviewed authors and celebrities. Mm -hmm. You have your own ministry. But mm -hmm. what has been your most favorite job? I really do love television. Okay. I just, I do. I love the all facets of television because you can have an idea or whatever the Lord teaches you or anything. And you mm -hmm. can, you can encourage people in such a broad spectrum. Mm. Television is the bomb. Oh, yeah. But I also love all facets of it. So the behind the scenes, in front mm. of the scenes, it's not just the camera. Look, for instance, I was a senior producer at the 700 Club as well. So I was, when you would see those testimonies, I was one of, of the individuals who put those testimonies together because I always wanted to be the brain behind the face. Mm -hmm. So traveling around the world and interviewing people and getting their stories to see how God touched them or ministered to them or mm -hmm. Yep, just help their lives. That was the best part by far. Cool. Just meeting different people in different parts of the world who didn't speak your language, but yet every time they talked about Jesus Christ, there was a joy and a glow. I'm like, man, that's so cool. That's amazing. Yeah, that was my favorite. So tell us, what's one of your hobbies that maybe not a lot of people would know about you? Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, you, you know how some women love shoes? Yes. That's not me. I love makeup. Okay. So... I love makeup. If I showed you my makeup bin, I have over probably 300 lipsticks, <laughs> over like 100 foundations, just because I love it. And when I was little, let me tell you something. Yeah. So I grew up in a Pentecostal home, Pentecostal, very, very traditionally strict. We weren't allowed mm -hmm. to wear makeup. We weren't allowed to wear anything flashy. And I would get it and I would hide it. <laughs> and, uh, so from the time I was little, I was always like putting on makeup and just mm -hmm. playing and playing girl. So that's probably one thing people don't know about That's me. pretty cool. I know, right? <laughs> I like it. Okay, so last question. This is my sure. favorite question to ask. Uh -huh. So if they made a movie or TV show about your life, which actress would you want to play you? Okay, so there's actually two people. Okay. People would probably say Carrie Washington yes, just because like her, yeah. <laughs> there might be some similarities. Yep. 
But ironically, and this is going to sound bizarre, but Julia Roberts, mm -hmm. I've always been akin to her because her laughter, her smile, her disposition, I've always related to. Oh, yeah, her smiles. So, yeah. Like, yeah. all consuming. It's, yeah, she's amazing. Too. Yeah. That, that's and, a good choice. And she has, like, a slightly goofiness to her. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Which I relate to. Well, awesome. Thank you bit. so much for talking. That was so easy. Things. I know, it was good. That's it? That's it. Can I ask you questions? <laughs> Sure. Okay, ready? Here we go. So, Anna. Yes. I know. You don't know what to do now. You're like totally uh, thrown. This is throwing me off, but okay. <laughs> See, this is part of television, how you can I, take it I, and just I turn know. it. you got to go with the flow. Okay, you can ask me one question. Go ahead. Can I ask you three? Uh, It'll be three. One. It'll be okay, so okay, easy. Okay. You ready? Yes. What's your favorite cereal? Cereal? Cereal. Um, let's see. Captain Crunch, I okay. guess. What's it's your bad, favorite? Right? No, it's good. What's your favorite cartoon? Um, oh my gosh, this is going to show how much nerd I am. Um, cartoon, probably Pokemon. <laughs> no judgment. <laughs> no judgment. That's okay. I grew up on Pokemon. My brothers played it, the card game. I played the card game. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. Third. Okay. okay. And final question. Yes. Whoa. I'm like sweating. Are here. you having a hot flash already? Yeah, I am. And this is so easy. <laughs> if you could do anything in the whole wide world mm -hmm. in terms of a career, a job, or whatever, what would it be? Mm -hmm. um, I want to work in late night television. Fun. I want to live in New York and work maybe for the Tonight Show or and go traveling a lot. I love traveling, so. Wasn't yeah. that fun? That was it fun. It was good. It was thank easy. You. You're welcome. <laughs> and thank you guys for watching Up Close. This was a very special edition of Up Close. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this one, and we'll see you next time.